okay guys if you're watching this you're probably struggling a bit with Ajax maybe it's not working or maybe you just have never done it before in this video I'm going to show you how to insert data into a database with jQuery Ajax and PDO and once the data has been inserted we're going to refresh the page displaying the new data throughout this tutorial I'm going to assume you have a basic understanding of jQuery and PDO the Ajax part may be new to you which is fine as this is the main focus of the tutorial anyway okay so you may have noticed that we have a form at the top of this page with a name field and I'm going to use this form to insert a name into my database what's going to happen is I'm going to click the send button and the name is going to be inserted and the page is going to be refreshed all with Ajax so there's going to be no page reload I'll quickly show you my database I have a test database with a names table and inside that names table I have an ID column and a name column. If I go back to this form to give you a demo of what's going to happen I'm going to add a name, click send and there you see the name has been added to the page and we get this message up here. I can do this again and I can do this as many times as I like and you'll now see in the browse tab on the, the table we have two new names brilliant so how did I do this just gonna quickly go through all of the files we've got here we've got five that are important I've got a CSS file which is an important that's just to make things look a little bit prettier but the first page is obviously the index.php which is this page here um, I'm connecting to the database up here so let me just quickly show you that file as well this is connecting to the database with PDO just close that so that's that and then we've got the the normal doc type stuff head body tag below that we have a div with the class of content and this is relevant so just make a note of that inside of content we have this code here and at the top half is the PDO try catch block which is selecting all from names so select all rows from the names table and order them by the ID and the ID is the auto increment value so below that it is then fetching all of the rows and it putting it into the names variable so if we go down a little bit further it's saying if there are any names so if names equals true run this code so this is just an unordered list which will loop through each of the names um, rows in the table and then inside of a list we're going to echo the name so however many names are in the, um, the database it's just going to loop through them and then put them one under an each, one under another like you see up here in the example so a little bit below that we have a form which is this form here and it's got an ID of test form it has an input ID of name and input ID of test submit which is the submit button below that we are linking to an external jQuery file which gives us the jQuery functionality uh, you can get that from Google and then below that I'm just linking to my own file called apps.js which you can see in this JS directory in here Okay, so now I'm going to show you the refresh.php file. Here we are connecting to the database again. We have um, this message at the bottom which is saying name successfully added. Um, but this, um, in f this code here is actually identical to the code that is in our content div. So that is exactly the same as that and the reason being is because once the um, form is submitted and the data is inserted to the database um, this refresh.php will then um, be loaded into this content div and replace everything that is inside of it 
and I'll show you that later how that actually happens. Um, so the next page is the insert.php and again we are connecting to the database and the reason we have to connect to the database in, in both of these files and it's not good enough to just have it in the index is because when these files are run with Ajax um, they're run independently of, of the index.php so they both need to connect to the database again otherwise any of this PDO stuff isn't going to work so in the back to the insert.php file we are storing the um, super global post um, name variable inside of name and then the try catch block is inserting into the names table the name with the value of name. Um, that's pretty straightforward, I think. Okay, so we're inside the apps.js file. Everything's wrapped in a document.ready function, which just basically stops um, this code from running until the page is fully loaded. You'll see that I have two methods here, method one and method two. This method is using the .post function and this method is using the dot ajax function well what's the difference well not much besides this is just the the shorthand version of doing this method and the reason why is because here we are saying that the type of the ajax method we are using is post but here we don't need to do that because it is the post ajax method so it just makes things a little bit easier and shorter to write. You may also notice that with this one we're using the dot submit event and with this one we're using the dot click event. Um, not really any particular reason why you'd want to use one over the other um, but maybe you might so it's good to know. This is um, using the submit on the the entire form because this is the ID of the form this is the click event on the submit button only so this button here um, so it's good to know that you could use either but I'm just going to use the top method so I'm just going to comment out this method 2 and just hide that for now so what is going on here Okay, so when the test form is submitted, we're going to run this function. And in this function, the first thing we're going to do is prevent the default event from occurring, which is refreshing the page in this circumstance. Refreshing the page would just defeat the point of Ajax. So that's why we need this line of code. The next thing we're going to do is store all of the serialized form data inside of inputs and we can use this to refer to this. The next thing is the post function which takes three parameters and the first parameter is the path to the file that we're going to run with Ajax which is insert.php which you already know inserts the name that we put in the form to the database the second parameter is the serialized form data inputs and the third is the success function that runs once everything else is successful. So we can take advantage of this because once we've inserted our name to the database we then want to refresh the page to display it. So as I said earlier take note of the content class and what we're doing here is we are basically loading the refresh.php content in place of the index.php content inside of the class content. I hope that makes sense. So basically replace everything in content with refresh.php. Okay, so that is how you insert data into a database with Ajax as well as refresh the page. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.